322 here on the Afternoon Drive. Time for today's edition of Top Track. And joining me on the care phone, I have Clarissa Diarkno. And uh, hi, Clarissa. How are you? Howdy. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on. Well, this is really cool. You're a singer-songwriter. You're located in Kitchener. You've also done acting and film and all kinds of great, cool things. So how did you get into music? I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm guessing, yeah, how did you get into music? Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I have start, I've started singing since I came out of the womb. But um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I started doing talent shows in, like, high school, did open mics and um, battled the bands in university yeah and then um i joined a cover band we did gigs on the weekends for like three years and then i decided to just branch off and start working on my own stuff yes it's a whole journey (laughs) (laughs) you've been doing this for quite a while i noticed that that you uh you found some guys on kijiji and had a a cover band so i think that's pretty cool but uh, your sound kind of reminds me of, well, there's a Canadian artist that we play called Athero. And uh, there's another band that we play called Zero Seven, which is kind of like R&B pop soul, but, you know, very lush. So we're going to play this song, Confusion, and then we're going to talk about the song and a few other things as well. Because uh, awesome. this song, I mean, hasn't everybody gone through this? I can see why you use your music as therapy as well. This is perfect for that. Here is Clarissa Diocno and Confusion, 98.5 CKWR, The Afternoon Drive. Distractions, extractions, lots of growing up they never told you about. Factor, fiction, what to get away, what can make you say, confusion is strong. Stringing along, can make decisions, moving to your rhythm. Passion, false reaction. Don't make no appeal when you know it's a real confusion. Afternoon Drive, 98.5 CKWR. That is Clarissa Diocno and Confusion. I have Clarissa on the care phone as my guest for today's Top Track. So that that's a cool song, Clarissa. It really is 
What sparked Thank it? Thank you so much. <laughs> what sparked the song? It draws from, um, you know, different experience I've had in relationships or as some may call them these days, situationships where, you know, you feel unsure about the feelings and intentions of the person that you're involved with. So you're not sure if you're on the same page or in that kind of gray area. Oh, yes. Either of you has the courage to be the first person to bring it up. So as I say, communication is key to avoid confusion. <laughs> no kidding. Well, it's it's a really cool track, and I'm looking forward to more music from you as well. There's something I wanted to ask you about. What were you doing? There's a really cool movie that came out a while back called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World with Michael Sarah and Anna Kendrick. What were you doing with this? What were you doing on this movie? Okay, so that movie was the first time I ever, like, dipped my toes in any, like, film. So I started off doing background acting. So this was 2008, I think it was filmed. Yes, yes. And what I did was I, I would always go on Craigslist, and I found, I guess, a casting. They're, they were looking for, ooh, indie hipster people to be in a film. They were looking for, like, a lot of people. And yes. I thought, maybe it was a scam, but I emailed anyway. <laughs> and then I got on, and I was on the the movie like as a background actor for two weeks. Oh, cool! And, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know like a Craigslist ad. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's a good movie. And I mean, I used to work at a movie store, and we that rented out a lot. And the other thing is, you were also on Master Master Chef. How did you get into that? That's kind of oh my gosh. Funny. So like, I I love cooking. I'm just like an an amateur home cook. I don't really have you know. I've never worked in a restaurant or anything, but okay. I love the show. I watched the first season of MasterChef Canada, and then they were casting for season two. Yep. So I decided to go. It was like a whole long day audition. You had to bring in food, like your bring in your signature dish, and then it got judged. I right. was also put on the spot to like, um make a dish with these, like, wooden blocks. It was like, here's a carrot, here's, like, a stick of butter. But they were all fake, and you had to make a, a dish on the spot, like, tell them what you would make in, like, a minute. It was, it was just, like, a whole crazy process. And then I made it as a top 50 contestant, but I didn't make it past that. But it was okay because it was an awesome experience. No kidding. So what did you cook? I made uh, something called dal. It's, like, a Indian dish. It's oh, a lentil right. soup with uh, some homemade roti. It yes. was simple, but it was it was good. I guess it was good enough to, to get on the show. <laughs> simple and tasty. Well, that's very cool as well. So uh, we were talking off the air. So uh, if people want more information about you, where should they go? And apparently you're working on new music. So we want to talk a little bit about this. I am indeed. I am working on my second single currently. No release date yet, but I will definitely let everyone know. Okay. Um, I have a website, com. You can find me literally anywhere. I've got all the social media. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> to follow. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Clarissa. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today on the care phone. Thank you. I had a blast. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. That is Clarissa Diocno, and she was today's top track. She is a Kitchener-based singer-songwriter, does a lot of stuff out of Toronto as well, and actually that track, part of it, was recorded down in L.A., but all I get is fusion, fusion.